Interactive whiteboard file based on the work of the artist Paul Klee. From the work of uh, Paul Klee, um, there are four activities in this file um, that the children in year three or year four completed. I'm going to show you how we did this using the interactive whiteboard to, to model each of the designs. So what I've done here is I've actually uh, downloaded uh, some pictures from Google Images. Uh, these are when images that are actually uh, free of copyright and they're in the public domain so they can be used in the interactive whiteboard file. Um, in discussing these with the class um, there were lots of comments that the children made and if they came up to the board and wanted to point something out then I would put on the arrow and just get them to draw with the finger an arrow to whatever they wanted to talk about. So if for example they were pointing out this lovely sort of spirally pattern here then they could actually draw the light arrow to it. Um, one thing you can do with this if you want to go over the top of a dark background would be to make a very light coloured arrow so I'm going to click on the colour here and change that to yellow and now when you go to the lines or arrows it'll be yellow and when they go over the top especially if you're going over the top of a photograph it's very easy to see what you're actually pointing at so that was a really useful tool to use on the interactive whiteboard and it also gives uh, children coming up some confidence to talk about uh, parts of the picture. This is, uh, this is quite an unusual design, it's uh, quite complex but it does remind me of uh, building blocks, you're looking at the shapes, um, lots of triangles, lots of uh, rectangles or oblongs. Uh, if it was in 3D you'd have lots of prisms and uh, cylinders, uh, cuboids, um, um, all mixed in together and um, it uh, reminds me of, uh, of building blocks and the way that they've been arranged. And then finally this picture here which uh, is uh, quite different again. Um, the lines are interesting here, we've got uh, some curly lines. Lines don't seem to be drawn, each one is a separate line. And we've also got some printing you look carefully here, almost like that could be a little paw print, some little specks there and a shaded, a blended shaded background, almost looks like pastel colours. The obstacle race, this is the first uh, activity or the first uh, rule that we uh, followed and we did the beginning of the picture on the interactive whiteboard and then the children went off and uh, did their own designs. So the first thing to do is to draw some obstacles, dots, little squares or shapes all over the paper. So to do that I'm going to use the shape tool and grab, I'll do some circles and I'm going to just put them out randomly and let's get a different shape, some little triangles very quick to do, and we'll do one more shape, let's do um, a rectangular shape alright, some obstacles, now it would be nice to fill them with colour so I'm going to choose the, uh, the fill tool down here, and I'm going to go to the colours and at the moment there's no fill colour, so I'm going to touch on that one and let's do some, we'll do some blue ones I'm going to fill a few of these randomly with colour and let's change the colour to say yellow do some yellow ones and change the colour again change it to um, red and we'll make the rest of them red there we go 
All right, lots of obstacles, lots of shapes, lots of different colors. Now the exciting bit is actually drawing a continuous line from one side of the page to the other, avoiding the obstacles and make each line a different color. So I'm going to come across to the pen tool and choose a pen. So let's do it in black to start off with. And then you could get one of the students to come up and have a go. So first go, and start there. There we are, there's my first line. Let's change colour. Again, I'd ask a different student to come up to do their line. So one there. So far, so good. You can see what's uh, already happened with the picture and how interesting it looks. Let's do a green. All right, and I think we'll do one more. Let's have um, an orange, and I'm going to be really adventurous and see if I can get in that gap there underneath. The lines must not overlap. Whoa, that looks great. And you can imagine that um, with uh, the children designing their own um, picture that you'd have lots of really interesting designs at the end of it. So there we are, that's the obstacle race. And this is the second activity which is called a change of direction. So starting with uh, a straight line. And now we need to join a line to that at 90 degrees. So let's change colors. So we'll do blue. And we'll go down. And then back to the colors again. And we're going to change it to green. And we're going at right angles. So there's another one. Uh, maybe have a, a different child come out and do a, a line each time and just see what pattern you end up with. Um, what should we have now? Let's have red. So we're going to go back up. Just a short one. I'll do a couple more so you get the idea. Um, let's go for purple. Let's check that up. That's the right one the one on the right and we'll go back this way. Now this can go on and on and on and you can imagine that uh, you can get some really great artwork from this. Um, let's go to what haven't we had? Yellow. Which way should we go now? Let's go back up. And I'm just going to do one more so I go, I'm getting carried away here myself. Um, let me see, let's go for some pink color. And then I'm going to go right across the other side with that one. Okay. And the picture would continue on. So that would be the rule that as long as you're following the rule, you can uh, do a, quite a complicated pattern there and uh, get some really neat artwork from it. And this is the third piece of art that we did from uh, Paul Klee following this rule, curves and points. So draw a dot anywhere on the page with curving lines coming from it. Use the end of one of the curving lines as a new dot and draw new curving lines. Let's have a go. So I'm working on the interactive whiteboard Use the pen tools and select a colour. So let's start off with a black colour and I need a dot. So I'm going to put a dot on the page and then do my curving lines. Okay, now at the end of each line could be a dot. So let's put another dot at the end of this line. Now change colour. So I'm going to use a green and then do my curving lines 
from there. Doesn't matter how many you do. And then we'll put a dot on the end of that one. And then change color. So let's do a red. Okay, now I might start somewhere else for the next one. So I'm going to go to blue. And we'll do one down here. So. All right, and maybe one more color. Let's go for a yellow. We'll do the yellow up here. And I think you get the idea. So as long as you follow the rule, you can change colors um, and all the designs will be different. The unbroken line. Start at the bottom of the page and draw a landscape or townscape without taking the pencil off the page. Do not let the line cross over itself. Different date buildings. Keep going. One more carefully um, around the edge so that they had a silhouette of the landscape which they could mount on another piece of paper. And then when they'd done that, they then put the detail in. The design would be cut out and then mounted on the piece of backing paper. Um, so it's a bit like a silhouette. And then the children were able to. Um, decorate and put the detail in on their buildings. So I'm going to do some with the interactive whiteboard tools. So I'm going to open the pen tools and get the line and it's a straight line tool and choose a color from down here. So there's the line. Let's do, a, we'll do a black line to begin with. All I'm doing is using examples of the sorts of things that the uh, children did. Um, some would then maybe draw horizontal lines. They, If they were detailed they maybe put in the windows. Like so. And of course you can use different colours so go back to here click on the line tool we can choose like uh, let's do a red there and we could have something like a All sorts of designs, patterns, maybe shapes, uh, maybe drawing in things like a, a window. Okay. Until it was finished.